Cruise control comes fitted as standard to every new Mercedes-Benz. This is something which I personally use all the time, whether I'm driving through town or driving along the motorway. So let's take a look at the technology, the different types available, how it works and how it can improve your drive. The cruise control for new Mercedes-Benz models is now mounted on the steering wheel. In the UK, this is on the right-hand spoke. The operating principles are exactly the same as when it was operated by a stalk. You have the buttons in the centre to increase or decrease your speed, resume and cancel on the right, and then the toggle for flipping between cruise control and speed limit is on the left. This is what it looks like out on the road. So get to your desired speed, flip the central switch to set it, and if you want to increase it, then just press the button up, decrease, and just press the button down. Now, a trick that I use all the time for cars with speed limit assist is pressing the resume button twice. Now, when the car picks up the current correct speed limit, press this button and it will take you up to the limit. Now, when you're using cruise control, you are still in full control of your car. Just think of it as using your fingers to regulate your speed rather than your feet. Another thing to remember, whenever you touch the brake, cruise control will automatically disengage. Now, if you do prefer to drive with your feet on the pedals, then you can use the speed limit function. Now, engaging this is done by the button on the left-hand side here. So just press that up, and then just like for setting your desired speed on the cruise control, press the central button, and here we can see that we've activated the speed limiter at 60 miles an hour. Now, the car won't let you push past this speed unless you put your foot all the way to the floor. Now, if you'd prefer, radar-guided cruise control called Distronic is available as part of the driving assistance package. Now, this is brilliant, so let's take a look at it. Now, just like on the A-Class we looked at a moment ago, the controls are still on the right-hand spoke, but look closely and you'll see that the left button allows you to choose how closely or how far you'd like to be behind the vehicle in front. Again, taking it out on the road, the way it works is virtually the same. Just get to your desired speed, set it with the central button. Now this is where the magic really starts to happen. Activating the cruise control switches on all of the car's radars. There's forward facing, side facing and rear facing radars as well. So you simply set your speed and then when you come up behind another vehicle the car will figure out what speed whatever it is in front of you is doing and will then decide whether to slow you down or maintain your current speed to keep a safe predetermined distance to the car in front. As well as the radar guided cruise control function, there is active blind spot assist, there's cross traffic function for active brake assist, end of tailback function, again, that uses the car's navigation data, so if it picks up uh, that there's a hold up just ahead of you on the motorway, it will give you a warning and it will start to slow the car down in preparation for reaching the end of the tailback. As well as this, there is route-based speed adaptation. So let's say, well, like we are here on the Bishop Stortford Bypass, I'm approaching a roundabout. The car knows it's there, and it will tell me in a moment that it's about to start slowing down as we get to the roundabout. Now, the speed at which you do some route-based speed adaptation changes depending on what drive mode you're in. Naturally, it will be a little bit faster going around the corners in sport mode than it would be in comfort or eco. So I said at the start of this section that the driving assistance package is brilliant. Why did I say that? Well, it is. I've driven a lot of radar cruise control, driving assistance uh, packages uh, from right across the market. And the one that just fits in seamlessly to the driving experience is this one. It just does it so well. It really feels like it's part of the driving experience. It's not as if the driving assistance package was bolted onto a car that wasn't designed for it. With the newest generation of steering wheel for Mercedes-Benz and AMG models, the cruise control function is now done by touch-sensitive pads in the spokes rather than using buttons. I've given it a go already on the newly facelifted E-Class and it works in exactly the same way. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I use cruise control all the time, whether I'm in town or whether I'm on the motorway. I do find it helps to take a strain off you as the driver. It can also help to increase your fuel economy as well by sticking to your desired speed. Now, if you do prefer to drive with your feet on the pedals, then the cruise control software also doubles as a speed limiter. Just hit the limit button, set the speed that you don't want to go past using the same buttons that we showed you on these two models, and it's as simple as that. And if you'd like to find out more about these models with cruise control and the driving assistance package, then do get in touch with us here at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire.